Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we'll be reviewing the best camera bag that I have ever found. And I'm a camera bag junkie right after this. Alright guys, welcome into the channel. In this channel, we talk about landscape photography, taking you out into the field, and also reviewing some of the best landscape photo gear there is. Now, today is one of those videos, so if you haven't been here before, or if you're seeing this for the first time, consider subscribing below. Now, in this video, we're reviewing the best camera bag that I've ever found. I've owned so many camera bags over the years. I even had an entire closet filled with camera bags. This camera bag, though, kind of sets itself apart because it has most of everything that I've ever wanted in a camera bag, not all, but most. Now, what bag is this? This is the Mindshift Gear Ultralight Dual 36 liter. Now, it kind of looks a little bit big, but that's why I like it. It's just big enough, but it's just small enough. And what I mean by that is I actually travel with this bag and take it on airplanes with me. I'll put a card in the video so you guys can go and watch that video on how I pack for travel photography. Now, this bag is stout. I love this bag so much. Mindshift Gear makes really high quality bags and you can pick this bag up for about $200 based on where you get it. And I'll link that in the video description below where you can find this bag. So what are some of the pros and cons of this camera bag and why do I love it so much? Well, let's get into the pros first before we look into some of the drawbacks of what you might be surprised at before you buy it. So one of the pros that I love is that it's large enough. Now I alluded to this before, I travel with this bag all the time. I don't only take it with me on the trails, I take it with me on the airplanes as well, but it's also just light enough. This bag is super lightweight. I guess that's why they call it the 36 liter ultra light. And it's made of this really durable material on the outside really good for when I like accidentally or not so accidentally throw it on rocks whenever I'm shooting down by waterfalls or scrape it up against things as I'm hiking through some canyons. The other thing I love about this bag is that it's separated into two compartments. Now the bottom compartment is for your actual camera and you can access this in a side access pack right here. Another huge positive that I love because all you have to do is have it on your back sling it over, unzip this, and you're accessing your camera gear. Really beneficial way to quickly get to your camera whenever you're hiking, scouting locations, doing whatever, and then you just zip it back up and throw it back on your back. So if the bottom is for your camera gear, stopping right about here, the top is for anything else you might be packing. This may be clothes, camping equipment, anything like that. This is huge for me because I camp when I go and take photos. I don't know if camera bag companies have forgotten that doing all of these day packs that people can buy. We need packs that when we go out and scout locations, we go for multiple days, camping sometimes, backpacking. You have enough room in here to take some initial and essential backpacking equipment with you whenever you go hiking, whenever you hit the trails, and whenever you go backpacking as well. I also love in this bag that it has multiple side pockets and compartments that you can store things in. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I love having all these separate pockets and compartments. You have a top access pocket right here where you can put, I like to put like my laptop accessories in there, headphones, passport, wallet, whatever. You also have a nice cinching water bottle pocket on the side opposite that of the camera access. And then you also have, this one is so cool, probably one of my favorite features of the bag, this hip pocket where I can put like granola bars, headphones, wallet, keys, whatever I want very fast access to, I'll put in this side compartment hip pocket that I have whenever I strap it around my hip. Now, you'll notice on this bag, it's a little worn and a little dirty. That's only because I've been testing this bag for a while. I've actually been taking it out, 
shooting with it and throwing it down in dirt, mud, rocks, sand, whatever. And this bag is durable enough. Unfortunate part, it's gotten a little bit dirty for this review. It's also got more side compartments in it whenever you get into the bag. One of the main ones being right inside the pocket of where you keep your camera. Now, this pocket is really good for like a neutral density filter, not a graduated neutral density filter, and you can watch in the card why I don't think so, but this can also be good for like circular polarizers, uh, memory cards, batteries, anything like that that you have in here. And you also have one on the inside of your bag as well. So when you open your bag, it's right here on the inside so that you can easily access that straight into the top pocket, right into this storage compartment that you have. Really easy even to see what's in here because they're made of mesh. These are really good pockets for easy accessibility, which is what I love, getting fast access to my camera equipment so that I don't miss a shot. Another huge pro, is that it has storage for a 15 inch laptop. This was a must have for me when I was looking for years for my best camera bag option. Now, why do I want that? Well, as a photographer, I want the most detail at my fingertips possible whenever I'm post-processing. A 15 inch laptop gets me that. A 13, not so much. I wanted the 15 and I wanted a bag that could carry a 15 inch laptop as well. This bag has it. Now, one of my other favorite features of this bag, and it's kind of silly and it's kind of stupid, but these actually make a huge difference whenever I'm carrying my tripod, and that is the locking straps for the tripod holders. Now, these straps come out of this little compartment right here, and if you look on the buckle, there's actually a locking part that holds the straps in place. So all you have to do is unclip it, clip it back, unclipped, you can adjust, clipped back, you can't adjust anything. And I love that because whenever I'm hiking around, as the tripod kind of bounces on this strap, it loosens and loosens and loosens. With this locking strap, not going anywhere. Let's get into the side compartment and what your camera is actually going to be in to really look at another huge benefit of this bag. Here's the compartment that your camera goes in. So if you think about it, you're kind of getting two camera bags in one. This comes with a strap that you can attach here, carry it around your shoulder, and you can even hook this onto the waist belt of your bag as well whenever you go out shooting. If you want extra backpacking equipment in your bag, this is the perfect opportunity for that. Having this on your belt or around your shoulder gives you more space in the bag, allows you to keep your camera equipment with you. But a huge part of this is that it is a pretty hard case. I like this because when I'm throwing my bag up in an overhead compartment on an airplane or setting it back down to take a photo, I want the most protection possible for my camera equipment. And this is hard enough to provide that, but also padded enough to not let anything rattle around. This also has multiple adjustable compartments inside wherever you can keep anything that you want. In here, I've carried like two camera bodies, four lenses, and all of my camera accessories with me at one time. And then what I'll do is I'll throw my DJI Mavic Pro inside the top compartment of the bag sometimes if I'm not going out camping and just going out shooting. Now, let's talk drawbacks to this bag because there is no actually perfect camera bag. And what I would love camera bag companies to do is watch this and kind of adjust based on what landscape photographers, those who are actually camping might want. Number one, the rear front tripod holders are actually a nuisance to me. This is kind of more personal preference, but I like to have my tripod holder on the side, the straps on the side so that I can lock it in on the side not on the back, because when I put it on the back, it's kind of like the tripod is pulling me backwards as I hike. Not something that I want to experience as I'm hiking up a steep mountain, maybe at a pretty steep incline, not something I want to experience. I like having that on the side, even though it kind of throws the weight off a little bit to one side or the other. I don't like feeling like something is constantly pulling me backwards. Not a deal breaker for me though. I was excited that the benefits outweigh the downsides for that part. 
Since we're on the topic of kind of camping and backpacking, I also don't like the fact that this doesn't have straps on the bottom. I might want to carry like a camping mat or a sleeping bag or even just straps on the bottom of the bag to hold like a jacket or just any excess poles that I might have in place that I don't have to stuff down in the bag. That would be huge and easy to do for a camera bag company because it's not taking away any storage space. It's just adding two of those straps on the bottom of your bag. I would hope that they would do that in the future because like I said, people like to go out and actually camp when they take photos. And the last drawback that I have is that the side access camera compartment is actually a lot more difficult to remove. As you saw in the video a little while ago, another huge benefit of this bag than what they might want you to believe. So it is kind of a nuisance to jerk that bag out of the overall bag that Mindshift Gear has created, but I still don't think that's a deal breaker. So all we have are three drawbacks to like, what did I say, like 10, maybe eight huge benefits that I've been looking for in a camera bag for a long, long time. So guys, that's my review on the Mindshift Gear 36 liter ultralight backpack. Again, it's linked in the video description below. If you liked this video or if you found it useful, consider subscribing, thumbs up, comment below, or any or all of the above. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.